hello guys welcome back to tutor and so guys in this video we are going to see how you can configure Tailwind CSS in our existing react app and guys if you can see on my screen there is a react app which I have created earlier and there is not much in this project there is only a simple page rendering if you haven't already created a react app then you go and create a react app with this command npx create react app and your project name and after the app is created make sure that you are in the directory of your application by running the command cd after everything is perfect let's open our terminal and run this command npm install hyphen d tailwind css post css and auto prefixer so that we can use tailwind css in our react app and these are the tools which is required to use tailwind css in our react app so let's run it and after some time these tools are going to be installed in our project and and after these tools are installed in our project let's clear the terminal and run the command again and the command which we are going to run this time is npx tailwind css init and hyphen p so guys with this command we are going to create two files two configuration files for post css and tailwind css and after running this command you will see two files are created in our project and you can see the files here like post css config file and tailwind css config file so now we have to open tailwind css dot config dot js to configure the tailwind css in our project and in this file you will see a uh, array named content and in the content we have to give the names of the files in which we are going to use tailwind css like we are going to use tailwind css in .jsx files and js files so we are going to give the extensions here and now let's save this file and we are going to open another file called index.css which is present in our src directory of the project so we are going to open this file and on the top we are going to write three lines and with these lines we are importing the code of the tailwind css in our css file so that we can use tailwind css anywhere in our project and after saving this file let's run our react app and see what are the changes happened in our project so let's run npm start and see the changes happen in our project now so guys as you can see our project is live in our browser now so let's copy some code from tailwind css website and Let's paste it in our project and see if the Tailwind CSS is working or not. So let's put it in any of the project component and main.jsx is the main component of my project so I'm going to put it in here. So guys as you can see here button is now showing in our project so we can finally say that the Tailwind CSS is working in our react app. If you found this video helpful then subscribe the channel and like the video. So you can get more of these videos in future and stay healthy, keep coding and keep watching tutorials.